Hello, my name is Gail Silito, and as an Albertan with an interest in art and history, I was pleasantly surprised to find that Legale, Alberta is the mural capital of the world per capita. They currently have 35 murals in various areas of their town, adding 11 more this year, I believe. And today we have the opportunity to meet some of the artists who have depicted the diversity of our Canadian history. And after listening to the stories behind each mural, I feel that these are gifts from the past. My name is Ernest Chauvet. I'm the coordinator of the Central Alta Tourism Society. And in 1997, I spearheaded the mural projects in Legal, which aimed to honor the pioneers and just to develop local pride. From the request made to two young teenage boys, we've evolved to having top quality artists, both local and beyond, who've given up themselves and made of this community something that is not seen anywhere else. The uh, content of the murals, although they speak of local families, the content of the murals relate very much to social studies curriculum. So as people tour the murals, objectives in the school curriculums are met by the explanations of the mural. Because these are done in story form and at the level of the children, it can be received and integrated as they do the tour. Legal as a community reflects the Francophone presence in Alberta. So just being in the environment in the town is actually answering to the Francophone perspective of the Alberta curriculum and just makes people have a better sense of our Canada and the cooperative efforts between the French and English components since the beginning of our country. You asked me why I choose Louis Riel, because when they asked me about Louis Riel, for me, I felt like a big joy in myself because I knew just a little bit his life. And I knew he was fighting for peace. He never held a gun in his hand, never. He was just pleading people for, to be in peace to live all together, even they were uh, English, French, from France, from Quebec, or Scottish. So I decided this picture too, because for me, it, it tells me very, very deep things. Because he turned his shoulder, he turned his shoulder to the past. And when they hang that man, he was praying God. He was saying, I'm happy to give my life for my country. Even it was really unjust because Ottawa in those days, that it was called Dominion of Canada, they came on their land. They never asked permission, never to take their land and divided the way that Dominion of Canada and Hudson's Bay decided to divide. So they start at uh, Riel's cousin's farm. And when uh, Monsieur No saw that, he called Riel, his cousin, and said, you better come because we're gonna have trouble. So he came and he put his moccasin on the chain of the land survey and you say you go no further. It's why the government didn't like him because he was like cutting what the government wants to keep the Bay Canada and to sell in one part to the United States. And it's why. And Gabriel Dumont, he was a real warrior. But Riel every time said, quiet. Quiet. He, but he was listening to Riel, even he had 350 soldiers with him. Riel says, no, we won't fire like this. So he was obeying Riel like a child with a, a father. And here I put 
the justice statue is not finished. And this flame remember us, the soul of our country. We are a country that we don't see anywhere else. So the flame, all the Canadian, it's to stay together in peace. So the justice try to cut that flame from the heart of Riel. But the more wind that comes, the more war they try, the more the flame when she grows and goes and goes. So it's why we're gonna have down here flames that comes from this here. And instead of hanging a man, I put a dove because the dove is a sign of peace. And when it's gonna be finished, I'm gonna put here just a, like a grape, like he's a martyr. Because um, I read lately people from even English, even Scottish, when they knew that they hung Riel, they said they kill him like a dog and he's a saint. So, so this is about, and the flower, the flower will be um, painted from each provinces because it was in his mind to have more provinces after Manitoba. You found that different, different tint in the paint. Okay, behind his shoulder, this is the dark days of our story because real stories is our story. We know that always the little ones are keeping down and then he was fighting and he was very angry every time it happened. He was a person that everybody could live together. And after his dead, just like the sky opened, and today, after he did that, the, uh, the artist will give back the spirit of the Miti. And I put all the, the flags because that's what you want. Everyone have a place on this earth to live. That was in his mind. So it's why I said, even you come from the another origin or you can live in Canada. It's historical panel. When I do this, I'm so happy because it's like a mission. Some artists can write a book or you read a book and then. But as an artist, I said, you look at and you read from that, the history. So I'm so happy for that. It's kind of mission.